What's up guys, this is Heiss. I was scrolling through Facebook just earlier today, and I came across this post asking the question, why do North American steam locomotives produce so much black smoke, whereas UK locomotives do not under normal running conditions? And it's like, okay, well that's a really straightforward answer. And then all the comments just kind of went all over the place. <laughs> Ah, I figured we'd get into this uh, mystery and do the quick answer of, okay, well, why is smoke made when a steam locomotive runs? But first, because I can't resist, uh, let's see, big, dirty, noisy machinery in the United States versus the UK caring about appearances? No. USA, built to be heavier and stronger. UK, built to be lighter and faster. True, but that has nothing to do with smoke. Most American engines were burning oil or used automatic stokers, which tend to burn blacker. Wrong. They can burn blacker, but that doesn't mean that they tend to. It's all about how you fire. The quality of coal used has an impact. That is true. Some coal smokes less than others. And photographer preferences, this is the one big one that has probably made this question come about in the first place. And that is what photographers want in a charter. We're in the preservation era of steam locomotive operation all across the world, in the UK and in the US. And the US photographers like to see smoke. The amount of times I've fired charters and they've complained that our little Rio Grande Southern number 20 doesn't put any smoke out because she drafts so hard. Like, you can't make that thing smoke when it's got the throttle open. And they're always asking for more. The amount of complaints we get that there's not enough smoke for the picture is significant. And so when you have an engine that has a firing valve and the photographers want smoke, open goes the valve, they get the picture, there you go. Whereas in the UK, uh, maybe that's less of the culture there. Now, the last answer that I actually really agree with, it depends on the firemen. If they're a good fireman, then they know how to fire in a way to reduce smoke. That That's the real answer here. Smoke is produced when you have incomplete combustion of something in general. Your car does it, locomotives do it. Sometimes you need to have so much fuel in your firebox that you have incomplete combustion. If the engine's not set up quite right, if you've got bad quality coal like people were talking about, but anything that's not burnt truly completely with enough oxygen coming in, ends up go getting unburnt and comes out as smoke at the stack. And so in the terms of a coal burning engine, you'll typically see this when the engineer shuts back on the throttle, shuts off, there's less draft, and now that same amount of fuel is still in the firebox. Now it's no longer burning completely. So as soon as you shut off at the top of the hill, the big black plume of smoke comes out. There's a little bit less of an excuse with oil burners, and I think this is more the charter thing. An oil burner, you've got a firing valve that controls how much oil is flowing in, and the fire is very instantaneous. You have direct control over how big the fire is at any given moment, and you can almost always match it to what the engineer is doing, unless there's something set up wrong in the engine and you have to overfire it to keep the steam up, which ends up with some incomplete combustion. But the one other little interesting nuance between a US engine and a UK engine is a little bit about how the fireboxes are designed and kind of the principle behind actually how they draft. An American engine's firebox is set up in such a way that almost all of the air for the fire is coming up through the fire bed in the terms of a coal burner. Some engines did use a couple different secondary air options and there was some tech that was tested out to get secondary air, which comes in on top of the fire bed. But by and large, most of them were set up for it to come through the fire bed. And so in that case, more draft, more back pressure at the end of the cylinder stroke coming out the blast nozzle in the front end means it's going to burn and pour, pull more air through and help things burn more efficiently. In the UK, almost all locomotives are designed with a special fire door that allows for a precise control of the amount of secondary air coming in over the top of the fire. 
There's a great documentary from the LMS about how to be a fireman. And, and in that documentary, they talk about how you precisely control the setting on that fire door to let in just the right amount of that secondary cold air coming in on top of the fire to burn off the gases from the coal fire. So the solid fuel coal itself burns, but it also gives off these gases that burn. And those can also cause smoke. Smoke means that there is not enough air for the amount of volatile. If the air supply is increased, it should die down. If all the air possible is provided, but too much coal is fired at a time, it will only go to waste as black smoke. And so in the UK, they really try to manage the top of the fire and the combustion of things after the fire bed. And this is more important in most of the engines over there versus most of the engines in the States. It's because they are smaller and the flues are shorter and the tubes are shorter depending on how they're equipped. That means there's less time for everything to burn out before it gets out the stack. And they're also not necessarily working the engines as hard as an American engine that's got bigger cylinders and has a more violent draft that can burn things a little bit more quickly. <laughs> So there's kind of two different schools of thought and it was a nuanced little topic. So I hope you guys liked that little difference between UK and US engines. But the reality of it is it all just comes down to the firemen. You can't always keep a perfectly clean stack, particularly in a coal burner as situations change, the draft changes, but you can get pretty close if you're really, really with it and you've got a great control of the fire and the engine's set up right. So most of it's a myth based on photography. There you go. There's the answer. Thanks for watching, everyone.